All right, Carl, we are back on Debt Ceiling Tuesday, 1267. Tag those morning lows here. All is swell. Uh, we're going to bounce hard. We both agree here soon. We're getting way oversold. Uh, but, what, 1255, 1252, 1258, somewhere in there. Should see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw some evidence of some people trying to buy yesterday and some of the stuff that I look at on timing charts. Um, as usual, they're a little bit early, and they're going to take a little bit of pain. We're going to bounce hard. I don't believe that this will be the bounce that carries us through the fall for the uh, election cycle and all that kind of stuff, but uh, we're going to bounce pretty hard here. A little snapback. Well, you know, again, 1267 makes sense. Uh, well, maybe another, like you said, another uh, 1% down uh, after this news is all digested, and then uh, we should be oversold enough uh, to get the uh, ping pong going the other way. It's all ping pong right now. Again, we're like a broken record here. Trade them. Don't get it. Don't fall in love to the dark side or the bright side right now. Uh, neither is the wise side. It's a trader's market. you got to continue to uh, hone your uh, targets in here. So the easy money has been made to the dark side, and um, rally should uh, be proceeding. Uh, again, as long as 12, eh, I'd even say 1240, as long as even 1240 holds, we should be good. So I don't know if there's anything else really to make this market go well, down. No, I mean, I t I'll talk about crude because I think that if 8953-ish uh, goes down on crude, we have an appointment, or I'm sorry, with not 80, um, if 93.26 goes down, we have an appointment with 89.53 to 88.02. Yep. Makes sense. So, I agree. Yeah. But it's hanging so, in here, hanging in here, bounced again off uh, 93.75 or so. And uh, again, today, this morning, pivot, 95.88 held and uh, whooshed right down $2. And, um, Everything's just kind of range bound, you know, lower, lower lows, higher, 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 or lower highs and lows. So, uh, trend is down until that flips. Uh, you know, sell the rips. Tough to buy the dips yet until the news is, uh, completely digested. So we'll see what happens here. So, yeah, I mean, I think, um, I, no, it just, I think it's important to, understand the, uh, what's going on in Europe, too, because all is not well there whatsoever. I'm hearing rumors that they won't have enough cash to get through September. Well, Italy you know, I, I think that's a big piece of why the Euros, you know, Euro, yeah. every single asset is, is you know, the dollar's up. Uh, again, people are running to the U.S. for for safety, which is scary in its own right with our own issues yeah. going on, but we're not going to we're not going to obviously... Be we're not going to default today, regardless of Harry Carey calling the home run ball there. And yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it, but it's a, it's a strange time. You know, all these assets, uh, the grains are got a funky little feel to them today. I, I'm, I'm kind of yesterday I stuck to the sidelines. I've done a couple uh, light trades today, but I'm being uh, it's the, tis the season to be light, anyways. You know, let's talk about that summer. Yeah, especially here in August, it is slow, 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 and we already came in with light volume, and volume is going to continue to be uber light here. So I'm not, uh, not that excited. We do have a ten-year bond auction tomorrow too. Got a little uh, QE. Yeah. Well, they got to scare people to buy them, right? Got to scare them to buy them, and uh, they're being bought. That's yeah. for sure. Ten years are yeah. once. 126.21 right now, almost back to the year high of 128. So, so all's good there as interest rates go down. What are we? Uh, two six now. <laughs> yeah, two six eight one. Woo! <laughs> the free moolah. Yeah, but the free moolah is still not making its way into. It's the, still there, man. But it's not making its way into the real world. The banks are just holding no, on. No, no, there's no velocity. We're just, you know, chipping away at the consumer with abnormally high commodity prices. So. When does uh, when does the you know the guy who bought real estate well in the last thirty years when does he start becoming the bank and loaning at four percent? That's got to happen yet for any type of bottom to happen in real estate. I was saying last night lumber futures, uh, you know, are at, at, at year lows again. So um, lumber futures aren't aren't painting a rosy picture when it comes to yeah. 
the markets. How, housing is just not going to go anywhere for a while. I mean, it's it's if you, if you have to buy, if you want to buy a house to live in and pay yourself rent, then that's fine. But to buy it as an investment, think you're going to get 3% a year as the old historical averages for real estate, um, that's that's done for now. Yeah, it's done so, for a while. So yeah, move for on. For a while. Yeah. Move on. It's, yeah. An, it's, an, it's an illiquid asset, and as you said, if you can buy it, Something to live in, and, and that's fine. If you can buy something that uh, kicks back more than you know the ten year at two point six, that's great too. Yeah, I just I, I don't know that you're going to see that in housing for quite a while because of the I'm just saying if you, can, if you can buy it that well and still get a rent, that, you know, well, that high, yeah, yeah, if you want to rent it, sure, yeah. Yeah, my wife's calling. Sorry. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, if you're rentals, sure. Yeah. So asset classes, the best asset class I still maintain right now for the next decade or so will be trading, Carl. And uh, you got to be nimble, quick, and, uh, you know, seven dwarfs, buy and hold ain't going to work. So you got to make your money work for you some way. And uh, volatility is still going to – I still see volatility being higher and uh, opportunities being uh, also on the upside. So I'm long opportunities. Okay. All right. I can agree with that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's good companies out there. Don't get me wrong. There's companies that are making good money in this environment. So, Absolutely. But the problem is that we dragged all these bad companies up in this in this process, um, which is unhealthy. So, Well, that's it, buddy. Let's uh, see what happens the rest of the day, and uh, let's keep trading them 1271 as we, we, we got a little rally going while they're sitting up four points. So, yeah. Um, Let's watch for that 12.55 area, and uh, maybe we'll put in a bottom for a while. Okay, buddy. All right, peace out.